there's a weird kind of psychological trauma that, that occurs in the abused. And in fact, if you do any type of study or any type of counseling, you'll know this to be true. One of the saddest things that we deal with as we um, counsel women uh, at the village that are living with abusive husbands outside of handling their husbands in all the ways that we can, um, oftentimes one of the most heartbreaking things you see is an abused woman go back to her abuser. She snuggles back up to the one who abuses her. That's a good definition of slavery. And this church so wants to be seen as cool, so wants to be seen as in, so wants to be accepted that they sell out their brother and snuggle up to the world who belittles them, who mocks them, who, who attacks them, drags them into court. The incessant need that we have to be seen as cool and relevant must die. That's not who we are. The marginalization that occurs because we love Christ shouldn't be run from. We don't live for this life alone. In fact, we are the counterculture to this culture. You're never gonna make Jesus so cool that everybody thinks he's cool. Once you do that, he's not Christ anymore. He's some figment of your imagination. 